All right, I'm going <clears> to <throat> do something here real quick. Uh, on In our workshops, we are all time dealing with broken, or not broken screws, but screws, screws that won't come loose. Very easy. Um, I hear all these suggestions about liquid wrench and PB blaster and, oh, God, so many different things that you can't even remember the names of all of them. WD-40, which is <laughs> not a penetrating oil at all. Um, but uh, there ain't no penetrating oil on this machine. You don't need penetrating oil uh, most of the time. What you need is a proper technique and the proper tool to get these screws loose. Um, you got to remember we're working on a precision machine here. We're not working on the the farm all on the back 40 with a sledgehammer and a and a and a pipe wrench. Um, this is a precision machine, and the best way to do uh, anything with it is using precision tools. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to get this screw right here out. And this screw is uh, uh, like a lot of the screws you see on the machines. Somebody has gotten a hold of them with. Uh, your typical little cheap screwdrivers that you get at China Mart or I'm sorry Walmart or Blows or Home Despot or wherever and uh, these little mechanics choice uh, things that uh, <laughs> they're not good I mean if you're gonna be uh, really getting into one of these machines you need to get the proper tools um, I like to use gunsmithing hollow ground screwdriver bits which are, uh, uh, I explained in the workshops what hollow ground means. If you don't know what it means, Google it. Um, but <clears throat> first off, you need to choose, in, in whenever you do get a set of gunsmithing bits, you'll have a large selection of flat blades. And most every screw on every sewing machine that we deal with from the 1860s on up, is uh, there is a bit in a good set of gunsmithing screwdriver bits that will fit the screws in the machine. Anyway, what I'm going to do is, what you need to do is you need to select a bit, first off, that is wide enough that it'll go in the screw as far as it, as, as much as you can get in the screw. Uh, this one here, because it is counterboard, it's recessed, you can't get a bit in it that's bigger than the screw. A lot of screws you can. This one here, you also want one that is thick enough to fill that gap. And... Um, I also explained in the workshops why you want to do that. If you don't, you end up breaking bits. If you get a, if you get a, use a bit that is too thin, uh, you only put pressure on the two very ends of the bit when you're turning it, and you'll break it. You'll break your bit or you'll damage your screw. I like to use these. These are drivers that you can get any place that sells tools. Um, quarter inch bit fits in them. Got a quarter inch top on it right here. This is a quarter inch box end wrench. The, I like to, usually like to use it upside down like this. You don't have to use this kind of wrench, but a good box end wrench uh, always works well. Hold on just a minute. I'm going to zoom this out just a little bit. So we can more see what's going on here. <clears throat> I've got the screwdriver in the screw. I've got the quarter inch bit. On here in a way to where I can push down on it and I can pull on it with the back of my hand slightly put a little pressure on it this is a two ounce brass hammer two ounces okay um, I don't need a <laughs> I don't need a claw hammer out of the garage um, what you want to do and and something I learned years years ago as a machinist uh, you don't have to get violent with things to get them loose you just have to do the right way like an uh, a, uh, impact wrench doesn't twist and torque so much on a bolt as it does it it hammers on it 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 shakes it that's what we're going to do to the screw anytime that you have a screw that don't want to turn very easily put a little pressure on it take the brass hammer <laughs> and that came right loose that didn't come loose while I go with a screwdriver when I was looking for something to make this video uh, that's all it took uh, that little bit of tapping and as you notice there is no oil on any of this I have not oiled any of this this machine sat uh, probably in a barn or somewhere a basement whatever as you can see all the surface rust that's on everything 
I didn't need penetrating oil. I don't need PB blaster and liquid wrench and some uh, snake oil. Uh, all I got to do is jar it just a little bit, shake it. Uh, it works wonders. I show this uh, in all the workshops that we have. Actually, everybody that attends a workshop gets a brass hammer uh, just so they can go. <laughs> Nobody goes home and says, well, Ray, <coughs> Ray said use a hammer on it. Yeah, I mean this hammer. Uh, and, uh, so anyway, that covers it. Um, I think that uh, a quick understanding anyway of using a brass hammer and a hologram bit to get a screw loose. Thank you.